Morning, everyone. It's uh, 8.29 on this Wednesday morning, the 29th of March, and this is your pre-opening comment. It is video number 1720. Uh, Asia and Europe are both up today on um, pretty much uh, sentiment overnight, um, but I want to warn everyone again that this is the last week of the quarter. What is surprising about that is that the volume has just evaporated. Um, we were running 5.2 to 5.3 billion shares. We were down uh, up until a couple of days ago in the 4.3, 4.4 billion. Yesterday was the lightest day of the year to date at 3.9 billion. So, uh, you know, I would expect it's kind of unusual that the quarter ends and the month ends on a Friday. So there'll be plenty of people over the weekend talking about um, the end of the quarter. And I want to remind everyone, every fund under the sun wants to show that they own NVIDIA and Netflix. Nobody wants to show that they own regional banks. And so I think that you're going to see some rebalancing, and I think it could probably get uh, a little more extreme for the good guys and a little bit more extreme for the failures. So be aware. Um, Paychex, P-A-Y-X, supposed to have earnings before uh, the open this morning. It closed 108.98. I haven't seen an actual posting of the earnings, but the stock is trading at 113, up 402, or 3.7%. So uh, I'm guessing that regardless, they're leaking it a little bit. Uh, Lululemon yesterday was 359 and that was up 41 and change. It has continued higher. The high now is 375, uh, last 372, up 51.69 or 16%. Uh, MU, biggest loss in history, a missed top and bottom. Uh, yet the stock, which uh, yesterday was trading at around 60.14, is trading 60.55, and that's up a dollar 27. Uh, also in the news, uh, NNDM, that's um, Nano Dimensions, uh, they have a $19.55 bid that. They had a bid that was raised from 18 to 1955 for uh, Stratasys, S-S-Y-S. That is a 3D printing company. Um, the stock today so far has a range of 1788 to 1560. Last is that 1560 level, up $1.49 or 10.5%, 10 but still pretty much well below 1955 as a takeout. And that was up, I guess, 8.6%, uh, the change of that bid. So maybe there's somebody else standing in the wind. Uh, we have uh, RH this afternoon and SMTC. That that's the old restoration hardware and Semtech. Uh, Semtech is a, uh, a um, semiconductor. And so, you know, we're going to see whether or not uh, MU's problems are MU's problems exclusively. Um, at 7 o'clock, the Dow was up 235, currently up 225. The NASDAQ was up. 114, currently up 113. And the S&P was up 34 and change and is currently up 32. Chart on the screen is the oil and it is still making slightly higher highs and higher lows. It's a very short range day today, although it is somewhat early. But we are right into this area where we broke down. Now, I told you yesterday and on Sunday that this five-day moving average is going to cross the 20 to the upside, uh, regardless, really, unless 
we turned down back into the 68, 69 area. So uh, I'm expecting to see, you know, a change or expect people to believe that there's a change in trend here. Um, I want to show you, push this out a little so you can see, uh, you know, we had, uh, we've now had five series of lower highs and lower lows since that 130 blow off high uh, in um, March of last year. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, um, you know, we would have to be above 83 here to break that. I don't think it's going to happen yet, but I also think, you know, we're into supply and we're actually acting pretty well. Um, open interest is lower. And so rising prices with lower open interest is generally short covering. So we'll see how that works. Um, but I would expect either a consolidation or some little bit of a pullback right now, 7407 up 86. Um, not much action in the heating oil or the gasoline. That gas is down a penny. Uh, the gold is down 580, silver down seven and a half cents, copper is up almost four cents. Um, as far as the softs go, cotton is up, coffee is up slightly, but it's down pretty good on the week, I believe. Sugar down a little, cocoa down a little. Uh, as far as the dollar, we are up 20 cents. Bitcoin, a big bounce off that 26,800 or so, 28,335. That's up 355. Sorry, that's up 900. Uh, has been uh, almost 500 higher than that. Um, the uh, Dollar, as I said, up 17 cents, and the bonds are down a quarter. So there you have it. I'll be back later on. Don't be surprised if you see volume in all of those names, both positive and negative.